Welcome, welcome. We are on episode 5 of Ways of Old. I am your Game Master, Gilbert Ramos. I am wearing sleeves today. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We'll see by the end of it all. However, uh, I have no announcements to, uh, to spew out myself, so I feel no need to delay any further. Let's go ahead and begin to meet our cast, shall we? Uh, hi, I'm Luna, or Druid by Night. Uh, I stream at Druid by Night and Gehenna Gaming on Tuesdays. Um, and I will be playing Cersei Aveline. I feel like that's the best intro I've ever given. Wow. Hello, everybody. I am Rachel, also known as the Azure Butterfly, or Azure for short. I'm a fae butterfly on the internet. Uh, I play, I stream at the Azure Butterfly on Twitch, and I have all my socials at either the Azure Butter One or Azure Butter One. Um, I am playing Ingrid of Sintra, the Bear Witcher. What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Edge. I play Nioka. Um, that's all I got. Well done, well done. It's great to see everybody again. Great to have everyone here. Everyone's looking wonderful and fantastic, and all the positive words of affirmation, all the good stuff. However, uh, I believe last we left off, you guys weren't doing that great. So let's jump into today's episode of Ways of Old, shall we? Not doing that great. We kicked a Brux's ass. True, true. <laughs> However, uh, one of your allies. What a great segue into the recap. Last. <laughs> Uh, episode we watched our heroes uh, discuss what it means to be a witcher what it means to take on this mission as a monster hunter a slayer a shield for humanity there was discourse between Elodie and our witcher companions along with Cersei kind of glowering in the corner over at Nyoka every once in a while after some conversation after some middle ground being reached and perhaps some understanding being uh, being gathered around our companions our heroes uh, decided that they would be hunting the same thing that ellie has the common enemy that unites them has been given a name renwick a higher vampire that is responsible for ingrid's schools uh school ingrid school of witchers fall as well as uh some very painful things for elodie that have yet to been yet to be revealed in this, uh, in this newfound companionship and camaraderie, the f four of them, I can count, I promise, four of them uh, journeyed into Old Vizima, the elven ruins that the city sits atop. They were almost immediately, after uh, dealing with the walking and stonework, had almost immediately encountered a Bruxa from Renwick's troop, Renwick's Cabal, someone that Elodie had known from before, her time before uh, before Vizima and before Cersei. Our heroes did battle. Elodie, notably, did not raise a sword to this creature. Despite this, however, the killing, bro killing blow was struck by our own Cersei Aveline, pinning the creature to, the, to a uh, long, fallen stonework pillar. Uh, this was... I skipped something, I'm so sorry. I was going to write something down for this. Uh, our companions... <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> our companions, um, before this Brooks appeared, had found the uh, dead cor dead body of a uh, companion of Nyoka's, Master Colgrim from the Viper School of the Witchers. On him were several diagrams and locations of various weapons and items, along with uh, a journal entry and a note that revealed that he had been to the bear school he had seen its new inhabitants and revealed them to be higher vampires in disguise after defeating the bruxa nyoka was privy to information nyoka heard something scurrying off to hide in the shadows armed now with his fallen comrade's silver sword he rushed off into the darkness followed by his companions ingrid and cersei Helody is not far behind, but this is where we join you now. Heroes, the scene is yours. You are running. What would you like to do? Is there any discussion at all? Um, Ingrid just is clutching uh, her Ursine silver sword 
with both hands and is charging right behind Nyoka because Nyoka is definitely faster than uh, Ingrid. She's trying to see if she sees or hear, uh, sees or hears anything. What like... an excellent question. Let's have a roll, if you kindly. This for you, uh, seeing if you hear the footsteps, Nyoka, you know have not ceased. They are increasing in pace. It is actively fleeing from you, you can tell. <clears throat> Why uh, are you running? For, for <laughs> Cersei, uh, intelligence awareness, if you'd kindly. Uh, Ingrid, you may make this roll as well, if you'd like. Uh, you said intelligence awareness? Please. 21. Where, where the heck is my sheet? Sorry. Oh, uh, that is a 10 first, so that explodes. God damn. I am not shitting you. That is another 10. Hold on. 20. Okay. I, would, I thought I did good with 21. So 23 base. Intelligence is 7. So that's 30 plus. Where's my awareness? 34. 34. 34 and 21. You can now hear it too. It is feverish. I would say with Ingrid, with a 34, you can tell that it is uh, small. It is not, uh, not keeping a pattern. Most people, when they run, it's a rhythmic motion. This is sporadic, as if it is leaping in some areas, or mm, skittering across something, or not bound to the ground, if that makes any sense at all. Hmm. Do we, with my roll, do I know exactly which direction it's coming from? You guys had last seen, if you guys are checking out the roll 20, you guys were running down this hallway. Uh, pop a ping again? I didn't see it. Sure. Uh, to the right? Just directly to the right. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so Ingrid would be probably realistically like a step or two behind Nyoka at this point. Understood. Uh, as for Cersei, you may choose mm. to be where you like. Yeah, I'm following, but I'm like, you know, behind a healthy, a healthy distance from danger. Why am I just picturing like Elodie just gracefully like gliding yeah. her way through <laughs> because yes accurate uh so with here uh real quick nyoka what is your run what is the uh what is the day? 88 and a half feet say 88 and a half is that what you said yes wait 88 Hold yes on. let me oh oh right because because it's in it's in meters, meters. hold so, on We'll uh we'll round up and call it an even ninety until I uh until I change the meters. I remember speaking to someone this week and realizing, oh, I need to change the meters, and I didn't fucking do it in that moment. Fantastic! I'm the best. For, that story. For, for 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 reference, Ingrid can only run um forty feet comparatively. <clears throat> Excellent, uh, Nyoka. In this moment, for you. I'm going to have you, I'm going to grab you real quick, actually. Let me just go ahead and place you right here. As you round the corner, you see a small creature. Bat-like, almost. It is uh, larger than your average bat. It is about the size of maybe a, mm, a Labrador in its uh, doggy teenage years. Um, it has large wings large ears that are perked up as you round the corner it turns towards you with these sort of sickly glowing green eyes its teeth it looks like it has six uh teeth both on the bottom and top that are about maybe an inch inch and a half long and it begins to take flight once more leaping forward attempting to get away from you am i do I get a sense that this is the thing that I'm chasing? 
or just another thing. It, it seems like something that was making the sound, yes. Do I know what kind of creature this is? I would have a role. Education or monster lore, you're entirely your choice. Monster lore. By this time, would we have caught up and seen the same thing, or are we still behind? I would say, uh, Ingrid, what is your run? 40 feet. 40 feet. I think unless Nyoka stops to slay the creature or pauses for whatever reason, you would be a little bit far behind. Okay. Not terribly, but in this moment. I would say, I'm going to move you guys just... Grab Elodie. Don't need to leave her behind. I'm going to move you guys just one space forward. Uh, as there is a brief moment of sort of like eye contact that was given. What you got for me, Nyoka? Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Well, this is called a plumard. This is technically vampiric. Uh, the reason I say technically. I What's that? I, I cut it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's have an attack roll for me, please. First off, uh, what kind? Uh, uh, joint attack. Uh, so the first one is, let's see, that's 17, 27 to hit. 27 certainly hits. Let's have some. First off, let's, uh, I'm not going to have you bother rolling, uh, hit position. This is a smaller creature than your blade. And I don't think it would be fair to be like, oh, you just hit it in the arm. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll hit it. I'll hit the entire body. Uh, let's see. So, so, he's 46. Oh, that's 11 damage. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say, do you remember what page combat is described on in the book? I one first... five, one. There we go. Awesome. Um... In this moment, Nyoka, you cleave this thing in two. Uh, it sputters for a moment, falling to the ground. It looks as if it's trying to crawl with its last little breath of life toward where it was running to, away from you down the hallway still. I'll let it crawl for a little while. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, with this attack, would we have caught up? I would say yes. Okay. Oh, um, kind of cute. Ingrid, the moment she's right, I would say she would pos probably position herself right here to where it's crawling. Um, with Ingrid's back, back, uh, with Ingrid's backstory involving vampires, uh, would she know anything more about this thing? Uh, I would. I would have you make the same role, either monster lore or education. Um, with a lower DC, if that makes sense. Yep. All right. That is a seven plus. You said monster lore or education? Correct. Your choice. Okay. Seven plus seven, 14. 16. More than enough. Uh, a plumard is uh, technically a vampiric. The um, reason I say technically is because they are considered the lowest form of vampire. They are... Vampire adjacent? Inconsequential, obviously, as been seen in, in a single, single combat scenario. However, the danger comes when they swarm. They usually travel in about packs of 6 to 12... Uh, and they are, in that regard, dangerous. A, when a swarm attacks, it can turn deadly if you don't take the swarm seriously. Single combatants, easily dealt with, as we've just seen. 
And you said it's crawling at this point, right? It has now fallen completely dead. Okay, I was going to say Ingrid just brings her foot completely down on it. Uh, and then as she does that, as she brings her foot down on the now dead body of that thing, she is going to attempt to look around and make sure there's not more. You do this. Um, no roll required. There's no sounds. There's no echoes. Not in this moment. You are entirely alone in this pathway. Hmm. Strange. These usually swarm in packs can be very dangerous. I wonder why this one was alone. Mm, maybe it was a... Like a spy? Would be my only guess. Hmm. I mean, I don't even know if it could talk or convey information, but that's my uh, only it, guess. It definitely cannot now. No. Um, Elodie, uh, do you know anything about why this one might be alone and not with a swarm? Or She nods. She says, We need to leave. You are in this here. This will not be alone. I can handle this. Do you actually go? I don't think so. I... Mm, Ingrid is definitely just furrow-browed staring at Elodie. We are already here. And we can handle ourselves. If Ewan is here, he will, uh, he you can see that Elodie looks to Cersei. Uh, not exactly like head on or full on, but sort of side eyes her for a moment. And says, possesses magic that is, uh, stronger than anything you we can deal with. Well, surely if it's the four of us, it shouldn't be that big of an issue. I'd like to insight check Elodie. By all means, what would you, uh, what would you like to know if you were to succeed? I just feel like she's hiding something more and I want to see if there's any tells to where she might be lying. Just, or might be withholding truth. Understood. Uh, an empathy roll from you, please. I'll allow you to make a choice here. It's going to be human perception. Understood. <laughs> 18. 18. Before I answer, Nyoko, what is going on with you? Are you continuing on? Are you stopping to listen to the conversation? Are you uh, participating in said conversation? Uh, I'm not participating in conversation. I'm just more investigating maybe the creature and just trying to be overall aware of things. Investigating yeah. the creature, you said. How, again, before I answer you, Ingrid... How are you investigating the creature? Ingrid will lift her foot off the creature so that Nioka can look at it. Just, I guess, you know, you know, kind of like poke it with a stick, flip it over, <laughs> uh, you know, maybe nail down, take a good look at it. Uh, intelligence a deduction, if you'd like. Uh, in this moment, I would allow Cersei, if you would like to, to make this roll as well, since you are not actively engaged with another with another task. Um, okay. You said intelligence deduction? Please. Okay. Uh, Ingrid, you said 18? Mm-hmm. The slightest hint of worry is overality. That's really all you get. There's something that's bothering her about the situation. Ingrid's expression softens a little bit and she just tilts her head to the side and she will just blatantly said why are you worried you are uh, a powerful sorcerer 
What is his name? Ewain. Y W A I N. I apologize for naming things. No, I love the name. I love the name. name. The accent is just difficult for me to understand with it set with certain things. I also apologize for my accent. No, it is perfect because I can't understand something. That is just how my hearing. That's how. That's how my Rachel's hearing works. <laughs> um. Can you, can you repeat that? What Elodie said one more time. Uh, she said that he uh, possess, he was a powerful sorcerer, and uh, previously she had said that the three of you could not stand up to him. A sorcerer in league with Renwick, or a sorcerer vampire in his own right? Is that possible? She nods. It is. Ingrid takes her journal out and starts making a note. <laughs> um, she said, she will openly say, vampires can be sorcerers. Terrifying. And then you see she underlines terrifying. Even so, would it not be of best interest for us to still continue to travel in a group, not to call you out on anything but did you not say you were currently in your weakest state before she nods and then almost absent-mindedly, absent-mindedly reaches for Cersei's hand what would Cersei do if you died and then at that I would squeeze it there isn't an answer from uh Melody. Of my opinion, it is best that should we leave, we leave as a group. Should we stay, we stay as a group. If something is as powerful as that, then that is something that we must keep in mind. Um, and as much as you can regenerate and heal, we do not know what they would do with your body. Before we continue, uh, what was the results of your deduction rules? Uh, 16. 16? Same. 16. The body is severed. Uh, the remnants have been squished. But there is very clear identifying markings on this creature. Plumards are not... Uh, they're not distinct enough to, uh, to be able to tell them apart. However, ex extreme effort has been made to uh, inscribe almost like runes and lines along this creature's arms its legs and on its chest there is it looks like elven script i try to figure out what this is for or what it means oh absolutely um uh, this is probably something that you would learn <clears throat> In the equivalent of, like, kindergarten for you, okay. Cersei. Uh, this is a simple scrawling of an ancient number. This is number 43. Luna doesn't know what the fuck that means. Could I, um... Is 43 is in, like, this is possibly the 43rd oh, experimented yes. one. Luna's stupid. Um, no, you're not stupid. <laughs> it could have. <laughs> if he had said forty-two, I would have been like the answer to life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, so she's smarter than me. It's fine. Um. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. As she would say that out loud. Okay. There's a few of them. Forty-two more, to be exact. Um. Okay. But no, I I, I agree it was angry. We should stay as a group or leave as a group. I don't, I'm not going to let you go at this alone. There's a hesitation from her. She looks to all of you and she says, 
than tactics. I will scout ahead. And report back uh, the findings. He is so precious, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Your face. God. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> oh, the little collapse. Me. Um. My inner child is screaming. Um, Cersei would furrow her brow. What if... Nyoka, would you like to go as a pair? The scout ahead? As you see in this conversation, uh, Nyoka begins to leave. Begins to depart. I see you, Nyoka. I want your tokens. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, yeah. oh okay. shit! Oh okay. He's gone. Well, <laughs> um, <don't>... stuff. <laughs> I will tell uh, Ingrid. Will look to Elodie and be like, "If you if you wish to go scout with um, Nyoka, who seems to um, have taken it upon himself to already begin, I will stay with Cersei and keep her safe from any that might try to ambush us as we follow." She nods and very quickly. Begins to take a couple steps moves and then you see her dissipate into mist and smoke fucking cool <laughs> fucking co Ingrid will just look, look at that and just be like whoa that was Cersei would just like yeah that's, that's my girl Nyoka you feel something move past you like a strong wind you're suddenly surrounded by mist smoke some sort of vapor that quickly disperses past you and moves down as if with purpose through this hallway. Similar mist to as what I seen outside my bedroom window. Oh no. Quite similar. I need to make a stealth roll. <laughs> I would like you to. Oh god. Okay. Um Ten. Give me a second. Nice. Ingrid will look to Cersei in the meantime and say, uh, shall we join them? It probably is not safe just to stay behind here. Join them as in... Start walking. <laughs> just not keeping up with them, but letting them go ahead. Oh. Or would you prefer to stay here well, while they go want... ahead? I wouldn't want to trip over rocks like before so, do, you, you know. do you want to get on my back no that's okay if you think we should i'll follow you i certainly won't be staying alone creepy in here we can take it slow so you do not trip thank you and then she will start to make her way excellent the result of your role 32 32 Let's check something else. Quieter than a dormouse. Yoka, okay, you move with a viper's swiftness. Light on your feet. Disturbing no stones, no gravel, not even the dust around you. You seem to pass through the air as if you are nothing. Confident that nothing sees you. Nothing could hear you. Nothing could possibly perceive you in this moment. You move on. Assassin. That's what. <laughs> Here, I'm going to have you pause your movement of your token. And what you see are a number of creatures. Plumards shifting, moving, flying, scattered all around this space. You see Elodie in this moment as well. She has returned out of mist and smoke. And is now dancing, almost. Bouncing from pillar to pillar, silently cutting down plumard after plumard after plumard. Speaking nothing, there is a man in the center of the room. The dark cape. A set of pauldrons, almost armored, over it. With mossy hair. It's a strange coloration of 
green that fades into black, perhaps dark brown. He does not seem to notice you. He is facing something. There is an outcrop of rocks that seem to build up and then have crumbled over time. He's reading from a book currently, seemingly ignoring everything around him. What would you I'm, like a, to do? Uh, I'm a snake. You may move. Fucking up. assassins, man. You may move up to your own distance if you'd like. In this moment, I would like. Up to my own distance. Yeah. Up to my own distance. Up to your own distance. <laughs> Edge uh, looks like a kid in a candy store right now. <laughs> as well, uh, Ingrid and Cersei, if you would kindly move twice up to your own distance. We can put you in location, and then we're going to roll an initiative and see where everyone is at once things okay. change. If I can click the right thing, that'd be great. Okay. My fucking 40 brings me here. Seriously, what's your run distance? 60, 60 feet. Oh, y'all are fa I'm That's the slowest one here. <laughs> She'd still be behind you, though, so... Makes sense. You probably you wear the you know heaviest armor and you that know. Once you get going though, you can't be fucking stopped. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. like like Darth Vader, like Darth Vader. Once the momentum is fucking built, it's not gonna stop until something until an unmovable object stops it. I would probably say, given everything, we'd probably be just at the gateway. See, that makes sense. If that's if that's twice our movement. Yeah, and I would still be behind, so I won't move my full movement. Picturing Cersei peeking the corner right there. Oh, yes, that's exactly what she's doing. <laughs> like, is it safe? <laughs> Excellent. So we are all in place here. Now we need some initiative to be rolled. Uh, Ed, you're going to get a, a sort of surprise round. So we will have put you in initiative, but we will have you make whatever attack, whatever you wish... Uh, before we enter into initiative. But for now, I need everyone to roll initiative. Let's get that taken care of. I am manifesting Edge just exploding on these attacks. Yes, <laughs> and just one-hitting this guy. Once again, if you one memories... hit of higher vampire, I fucking quit. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like there's I'll lose my goddamn mind. Uh, okay, what is initiative again? Uh, How do we roll uh, initiative? Uh, reflex... And, ooh, I've forgotten. Stand by. <laughs> Get ready. I'm going to ask this every session because I can't remember. If there's uh, not an initiative button, I'm not going to. 1 to 10 plus your reflex. You can actually make, ma make macros in the, uh, in the roll 20. I'll make one for you guys after this. Make it like, make it. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm still learning a lot of roll 20. I got a 19. A 19. Uh, explodes. You said a d10 plus reflex. That's it. Yes, please. Oh. That would be a 27. Ooh. Pens still explode on initiative, right? Uh, I never checked, but I'm going to say they do. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so 27. 27. Got to grab everybody. 11. 11. Yep. Doing great. In the back. All right. For Elodie, I'm going to keep her out of this for the time being. Uh, she is on crowd control. There is a great number of plumards as you guys stand in the gateway. It is a swarm, a true swarm. No mere uh, clutch of 6 to 12. There appear to be at least in the hundreds. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> you said a hundreds? What? More, than, more than 42. You know what? I was going to say, wow, she's not helping us with the higher vampire and it's just taking the ads like a like a standard DPS, but you know what? I'm I'm not going to fucking question that. If she can handle that, she can handle that. We can take down this dude. <laughs> uh in the hundreds? The hundreds. <laughs> I feel like this doesn't properly display 
Hundreds. What you guys see is what you guys are, are you... going to deal with, to be fair. Are you saying that there's enough plumards to blot out the sun? Oh my god. Possibly. <laughs> oh god. That's, this is many. Could you just imagine all the poop? Oh no. my god. I could not, and I will not. Uh, let's see. Do they poop? That's a good question. Uh, they do. Um, I looked it up. Um, Nyoko, what is your reflex, just out of curiosity? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. Understood. So, turn order is going to be the uh, creature that has been identified to you guys as Yuan. Uh, then Nyoko, then Ingrid, then Cersei. For now, though, we're going to double check. Nyoka, you were doing something? Uh, yeah. Um, do you say I kind of get like a surprise type deal? Absolutely, if you'd like. How, do, how does that head off? You have a full turn, essentially, to do what you wish. You may strike, you may speak, you may move, you may do everything you would do in a normal turn. But they still get like the defensive and all that stuff, right? No. No? You were stealthed. You rolled a 32 on stealth. He did not roll to see you or hear you. So it's almost like an automatic, it's like an automatic success at this point, right? I won't have you roll to hit unless you uh, are doing something that requires a negative to the roll, you know what I mean? Join attack. <laughs> okay. I see the gears turning and edges head. <laughs> Maximize. Do as much damage as feasibly possible. It fucking exploded. It oh fucking my ex fucking god. Manifested that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Okay, that's 15. First attack is 25. 35. Yeah. Oh, you said it's automatic. Yes. Right? Yes, so your your damage is all I really need. Oh, but I exploded. You can explode, if you. I mean, congratulations. I mean, that's a that's that's a that's that's a, you know. I'm just saying, there's like a wound chart that's like for, you know for explosions. And can I cut his head off? Can I one hit him? I'll tell you what. <laughs> so I'll, I'll make you, I'll make you a deal, okay. A devil's bargain, for those who oh, are familiar God. with, uh, with the uh, world of darkness. I can't fucking breathe. I'm sorry. I will allow you the possibility of one-shotting him if you reach a specific damage threshold, a percentage of his health pool. All right. However, if you accept the possibility of one-shotting this, you are going to gather the attention of all of the plumards. I think one hitting the fire vampire is uh, um, the the better option if we can. He said there's hundreds of them. Look at how quickly we took out one plumard. What's hundreds gonna do to us? We also have we have Elodie here too. I'll say this: um, <laughs> not not the hundreds that are being dealt with by Elodie. She is more than enough to uh, to grab up to them. Speaking of the ones that you can see on the screen. I'm just fucking around. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the bargain. I always take the bargain. <laughs> yeah. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. <laughs> I believe so, in you, Edge. So, yeah. to be completely clear and, uh, and up front, um, I'm not going to tell you how much health this creature has, but I will tell you, you need to hit 60%. Of its of its health total, I doubt I'm gonna do that. So. I think it's entirely reasonable given the rolls that I've seen from you. I mean, I only get two attacks. It's only it's eight d six total damage. That's all I need. Okay. All right. Uh, let me. So I technically I don't even need to roll for the other attack then, right? Correct. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, two silver swords. See, they got poison damage, uh, or at least one of them do. I don't know about Colgrim's blade. Um, let's see, one, oh my god, I am just picturing Nyoka just Anakin Skywalkering him with the like, fucking oh double silver swords. 
Oh my god, yes. I need this in my life right now. We, if this happens, we need fan art of it. <laughs> Commission Mason. Plus two. Mason's going to be getting a lot of Witcher work. <laughs> I believe in you, Edge. Fuck this guy up. Show him that show him that shoulder pads need to stay in World of Warcraft. Let's go. <laughs> uh, so that's a total of forty-one damage. Yeah, forty-one damage, and then whatever the poison effect on the turn, which is like three every turn. Okay. Hold up, hold up. I forgot to add the twos. Okay. I forgot to add my, my bonus twos, so that's just uh, four. So 45. 45. Unfortunately, Edge, not quite. Not quite 60%. Very close, though. Very Damn. nerve-wracking. Damn. So... That's still a healthy chunk of health off. Mm -hmm. Where would you like, like to? Where would you like, like to take hit? the arm off or something? Or just... Well, let's have you hit. Show hit location. You say hit location? Mm -hmm. Quickly, sell your soul for. I mean, there is there is the hit location because you multiply right, and then you add that to it too, right? So, yes, there actually is. So, I mean, did you want me to roll hit location? Were you doing a call? I shop? would say go for it. We're doing this very out of order right now. Were you doing a call shot? <laughs> I mean, I can say yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a called shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll probably be aiming for the head. You know, I'm just saying. To be fair, Edge did explode on that to hit roll okay. as well, and got a really high to hit. So fair I enough. would say that negates any negatives that would have come from that. Fair enough. <laughs> right, right. I'll so, see you though. What's the multiplier for the head? <laughs> Uh, for a monster's location times three. Forty-three <laughs> was four. Was it forty-five? Forty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Come on! Come on! Come on! Edge. Takes him there to control. What happens here? Yes, uh, let's so, go. So you you say he's reading a book, right? You know. Yes. Okay. So and you see you see Nioka sneak up behind him, and then he he got both blades, and then he just comes down, and the head lops off, and he stands there, and the head rolls out, and as he's reading the book, it just it, it just falls in the book, looking <laughs> up at his headless body. Yeah. So. From Ingrid and Cersei's perspective, you see Nyoka now revealed to you, now completely unhidden, as he moves through a sea of plumards. You see Elodie, again, moving through this, using them as footholds and handholds as she moves through the air, dancing almost, cutting them down wing by wing and arm by arm. Nyoka rushes up past the ledges, almost like a gazelle, with each... each uh, uh, step leaping up past each foothold these are five foot maybe seven foot uh uh ledges that he is just grazing up you see nyoka as you round the corner into this uh into this chamber jump up to be level with this creature that is just now opening uh his eyes to the world around him and turn his head doesn't even get a full 10 percent of a turn and Yoka uh, forms a cross with his blades. He cuts the creature's head from its body. It drops into the book. Yoka lands. It's as if the blades were too fast to even draw blood and have it cling to the steel and silver. His blades are clean. As he lands, this creature's body falls. And now, Nyoka. Ingrid is just looking at this scene, slack-jawed, literally impressed, literally just like, wow, that was... 
I, I, Ingrid is at a loss for words uh, at what she just saw. Considering what Ingrid went through going against a higher vampire before, she was preparing herself for the worst, and now she just sees its head fall off in one hit. And there's also a look of, I, I, a look of curiosity as she looks to, uh, looks at looks at Nioka, as if a thought that she had before had just been confirmed. And then she looks to Cersei and says, I believe it is safer now than it was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall we? <laughs> I'm, I'm staying back here. Nilka, there is still an initiative. It is still your turn. You have a total of two seconds to revel in your victory before all three of you realize that the Plumards are now, rather than just circling and dealing with Elodie, are now turning toward Nyoka. Their path mm. is flying, I've already, has already changed. They are flying toward him with aggression, with their teeth gnashed. Elodie is intercepting as much as she can. But you're not out of the woods yet. Nyoka, you're up. I thought they might have, you know, dropped like, you know, necromancers and skeletons, you know. I guess that's not okay. All right, that's not a thing here. All right. So it's just just the ones that's that's visible, right? Just the ones that are visible to you guys. Okay. All right. One of these. Well, days I mean, the hardest gonna... part's done. Yeah. One of these days, <laughs> I'm gonna stop being kind to this group. <laughs> We're early days. This is what episode four, episode five. Roll yeah. up, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, there's some legitimacy behind it, okay? There is some legitimacy. I would say. Yeah. Uh, I am going to try to take a page out of Ingrid's book and uh, cast uh, Igni. Let's go. Fire. Fire um, good. Um, fire very good, right, Cersei? Fire great for other mages that are not me. <laughs> what is the... Uh, describe Igni, if you kindly... We're still again in early stages. Let's see. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm looking for it real quick. It is you can expend as much stamina as you wish, and as much stamina as you expend is uh, 1d6 uh, damage. Uh, so, like when I was saying I'm dumping 9 stamina into this, I was doing 9d6 damage. Uh, that is the damage factor to hit. It was. And it's. Two meters, so that's about what six feet, a six foot cone. Yeah, two meter cone. Okay. And so Igni, I guess. Igni throws a wave of sparks and fire, which does one d six damage per stamina point spent, and has a fifty percent chance of lighting anything it hits on fire. Igni always deals damage to the torso unless used at point blank range. When used at point blank range, Igni can be aimed at body locations. So it's my favorite bit move. <laughs> Bye. I, so I roll to attack, right? We roll to hit first, right? And then spin XP or not XP stamina uh, for damage. I'm not sure for the expenditure. I'm going to say spend your in the stamina. Choose how much you would spend because um, mm -hmm. whether or not it hits or not, it's going to uh, it's still going to take the stamina. Wouldn't it be okay. will and Spellcasting? I believe so, yeah. yes. Oh. Eh, give me one second. My my browser is acting up. I'm I think so I'm glad I... 6 XP, or not XP, uh, stamina. I like it. Thank God we don't have to spend XP. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay. Sorry, my browser is acting goofy. Alright, it's back. This is why I uh, this is why I dumped exp experience into leveling up spell casting. <laughs> I had a two in that when we started. Now it's a five. Yeah, you're still oh scorching God. whole stones, like creating pools of magma. <laughs> I love that for us. Uh, seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. I'm just waiting for the day the dice stops being kind to us. Why would you say that out loud? There, I knocked on wood. Oh, I'm sorry. That's uh, real wood too. 
Apologies, 17 actually does not hit. Oh. Oh, oh shit. That's fuck. Well, yeah. Oh, shit. It gets a nice little warm bath. Hmm. Uh, anything else from Yonyoka? The creature sporadically moves out of the way. And again, faces you can see those sickly, pale, glowing green eyes. I'll spend three XP. Thirty. 28 so i'm at 28 stamina i'll spend three xp to to make a fast attack on it okay by all means this is your uh extra attack yeah understood um can you can you move in between the two fast attacks i would like, say so like okay i'm not gonna limit you to to keeping things in order that would be strange it's a fucking 10 Nice. And a two. Uh, 22, 32 to hit. 32 does hit. Cool. I was about to say, if you say 32 didn't hit, I'd be like, how are we doing this now? <laughs> Get, getting me scared and sweating over here, storyteller. <laughs> so that is 17 damage. 17 damage, how would you like to kill it? Oh, just, you know, swipe it, cut it in half, you know, whoosh, whack it out the air. You do this, uh, the momentum from the swing severs it in, into two, casting the body parts off to the side over this way. And, uh, with the second attack. You've got one here. Yeah, I'm going to leap off of here and try to do that. Um, so, uh, six plus 11, 17 plus 10, 27 to hit. There's a chance. Oh, you're muted. 27 hits. Oh. Thank God. <laughs> you imagine if it didn't? Good lord. I know. I'm over here sweating because when when he said 17 doesn't hit, I was like, okay, what does? <laughs> That's uh, 15 damage. Describe it. Uh, you see, Nioka leaps off the edge, uh, coming down with one of his right hand blade and just swipes it out the air. Some Prince of Persia shit. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cast straight down into the ground. It is cleaved in two once more. Nyoka, is that all you got? Yes. Ingrid. For now. You're up. Seeing the display that just happened, uh, I would say that she that as Nyoka is attacking the plumards, she is you know, she cracks her neck, she rolls her shoulders and starts striding towards uh the nearest one using her movement so let me go that would be i'm gonna move move her right here because that one's there right yeah correct and she is just going to with both hands just bring her sword up high and then just straight down onto it fast attack uh, or uh strong attack strong attack understood Ooh. it's just gonna explode and miss <laughs> <laughs> uh that explodes yes yeah, it's, it's fucking missed i feel like i can't follow up on this 15 I'm plus myself. 15 plus my reflex which is 25 plus 7 32 to hit 32 with the strong attack modifier of minus three minus three so 29 29 29 hits Cool, cool, cool. Now, the damage for her uh, Ursine Silver Sword. Uh, let's go. If I had one of them, boys. Oh. Aaron's Ursine Ooh. Silver Sword. That is 3d6 plus 2 standard plus 3d6. I, I highly doubt these, um, these bats these have. Um, uh, armor of any sort, correct? 
Uh, I will not be revealing that to you. All right. Well, I mean, I'm just saying because my sword has a blading on it, <laughs> so it sh it, it be... deals one d it deals one d six damage to whatever armor it does have. Understood. Uh, I will be revealing that to you then. There is no need for <laughs> to tell me that it has a blading. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. That is six plus four. 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 20 times 2, that's 4, because of the, it's, it's double the attack, double damage, right, for that, uh, heavy strike. For a strong attack. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's 40 damage. Good God. Mm. Describe it. What would you like to do? Oh, control. like she, she she's just bringing it straight down. Nothing is gonna be cut in right in half. <clears throat> and so it is cut in in twain. Find new ways to say it's been severed in two. Thanks, guys. Um, uh, you are successful. Uh, it is about at your waist level with the ledge that you're dealing with, but. Uh, that is your uh, your strong attack, your action. You've used some movement, I believe. I believe you have a little bit more movement if you'd like. And of course, you may spend some stamina and take an extra uh, action if you'd like, if you are able to get close. So my 40 minus 15, I can't fucking math, sorry. 40 minus 15, so that's 25 feet of movement. Where is the nearest one? This that is right would be here. this guy. Okay, so it's 25, so it brings me right here. Oh, let me make sure I'm doing that right. Okay, one more up. There we go. And two meters is six feet, right? Two meters is six feet. You'd be extending out from uh, your circle. You'd be just out of range for this one. Oh, God, yeah, you're right. Damn. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. Because I can't, I can't get more movement by expending stamina, can I? Just another attack. You know, right? I don't believe so, but let me double check make sure I'm not jipping you out of something. We still learn in the combat. <laughs> Single extra action. Yeah, no, no movement is gained. All right, well, since nothing else is in range and I already killed one successfully, uh, I will end turn. Understood. You, Cersei, you're up. Let's see what the follow-up ah. is. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing that impressive. Tell you that I'm gonna throw a rock. I believe in you. Explode <laughs> with those rocks. Let's go. Espresso came out of my nose. Are you Are you good? That's gotta hurt. It's good. It feels good. I'm alive. I mean, that espresso is hitting different than in it. Oh my <laughs> this god. Feels, this feels optimal. Okay. <laughs> are you good, Luna? What I, I, okay, one, another idea that I had was mm -hmm. to see if there was any, like, magic that was left over. Well, no, he's dead. Never mind. I'm stupid. Okay. No. Continue your line of thought. What you got? I was going to see if there was any, like, leftover magical, like, I don't know, wards or summoning these things. Like, anything that I could try to dispel that we haven't thought about yet. Oh shit! Look at the look at this look, look at the uh, the mage in the group thinking smart. Damn! I'm not throwing rocks. You can see uh, the blood is spilled on his pa on the pages. There is a faint glow that is peeking through the stains of the of the parchment itself. Magic is still active here. He was in the middle of something and it hasn't quite ended. Well, in that case, can I get close enough to dispel or try to? By all means. Okay, it's 10. That's 30, so I would have to walk a little further. Oh, whoops. Hold on. I've moved 15. Oh, so you said you have 60 feet of movement that you can do? Mm-hmm. Just walk right up to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that. It's safe. What could happen? It's not like he's going to pick his head back up and put it on back on his shoulders, right? I ain't trusting nothing. <laughs> okay. That's just in range. I kind of got nervous there because I saw Ramos smirk. I thought I did. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's my sheet? Okay. 
The spell allows you to end a spell ritual or hex within range. It can cancel magic with the duration of immediate. Okay, whatever. Uh, and can be used as a defense faction to block. Yeah, okay, whatever. To cancel, he must spend half as many stamina points as the caster spent to cast the spell. Oh, so I don't have to roll anything, but I don't know how much stamina he spent to cast that spell. I think. Is there a way for you to sense is sense what en what energy is coming off of that spell to maybe try to guess? Take the power. Just touch it. What's what's the worst? It's Get up there and the touch it. Happen. Yeah, no. Assume control. Yes. Turn the bats on each other. Cersei, Aveline, Big Bad, what? <laughs> Just mage things. Uh, yeah, so to cancel a magical effect, you must spend half as many stamina points as the caster spent to cast a spell and make a spell casting roll that beats their. Ca okay, so I do roll. Um, so I have to spend half of what he spent. And what, then I can roll. What is your total stamina that you have at your disposal currently? 36. 36. You're going to need to spend 10 stamina. Oh, I can do that. How much stamina do higher vampires have? Probably many. Storyteller? How much stamina do higher vampires have? I love you, Monster Ramos. Lord. You know that, right? <laughs> And I gotta roll. Hmm, what dice am I gonna do? I'm sorry, I'm having a good time. The troll in me comes out sometimes. It's good, it's okay. good. And then make a spell cast and roll a beat cast roll. Okay. Neat. This gonna really suck if I don't get this because that was a lot of stamina. Um But it's gonna explode, right? Tens explode. Obviously. Yeah. I mean Okay. You're talking to the person who also has how much stamina remaining after that? I have 26 total right now that I can use. Yeah. Out of 45. 15 plus. So, oh. 25. 25. That sounds low. Let me double check my notes. The anxiety is rising as you say those specific words. I believe in you, Luna. You got this. 100% Cersei is amazing and can stop anything from happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. she's, she's great. She's the, she, she is an uber-powerful mage. Yeah, that's for sure. She's stronger than Yennefer. Let's go. 25, you said. Yeah. The good thing about these types of roles, Cersei... Is that they can be made again okay. if you fail. However, in this case, you don't need to. Yay! You feel something shift in the air with your uh, attunement to chaos, attunement to magic. The stonework, the pillars, the sort of walled area that he was facing when he was reading. It's as if air gets sucked out of that area into the center. It has dissipated, gone from this space, gone from this world even. The runes and the writings begin to fade for their glow. The world is still chaotic around you, but something has been silenced. Something has been snuffed short. Okay, so sorry. Do the bats fall dead? They do not. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so Cersei kind of thinks like, yeah, I'm going to throw a rock, and then looks at the body, the higher vampire, and I cocks her head to the side. And she doesn't, like, run, but she's, like, kind of thinking, kind of strides over to where I put placed her, grabs her focus, and just shuts everything else out, and does magic. Does magic? Mm -hmm. What kind of magic? This the kind, you know what? No, um, I would say that some kind of red mist very quickly emanates around her, and then emanates around the book, and then all the dissipation happens, and the mist itself dissipates, and she—that's it. Interesting. That is fucking cool. 
I'm not going to lie. I'm just picturing from Lord of the Rings, uh, the two towers, when Gandalf is approaching uh, the possessed Theoden as everybody's fighting around him and just doing casting magic shit. Some images came to mind. Excellent. Cersei, is that all you got for us? I'm going to move back to cover. And now I'm done. Respectable. Uh, tactical, even. And now we arrive at the remainder of the creature's turns, the Fumarts. Now, as you accepted a devil's bargain, you are their target. You've killed their master. And they are quite displeased. So, we have, let me double check some math real quick. Fight me. <laughs> I intend to. Uh, if someone would kindly place a ruler down uh, to this plumar, from, from this plumar to edge. Okay, I got it. Oh, it's already there. Oh, beautifully done. There's one. Next one over here, please. Two. And three. Um, as some of these pass, does, they're passing me. Does that, like, give opportunity attacks or anything? It does not. Uh, Witcher mm. does not have that, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um... Two, three, four. We're golden. Uh, they fly almost in a in a unison towards you. Uh, Jelody is dancing in this space and cutting down as many as possible. However, four reach you. And I'm going to need some rolls from you if you'd like to make some defense. Uh, your first defense is free. And uh, you may choose to... Uh, choose to dodge, to block, or to uh, reposition if you'd like. Is this where those gang up tactics are going to come into play that we've talked oh, about being yes. worried about? Uh, I think I am going to reposition. Let's see, rolling out the way, you can not only dodge an attack, but also maneuver to escape being surrounded. Succeed in athletics roll versus your opponent's attack roll. You avoid the attack and move a distance equal to half your speed. Oh, okay. So, 44 feet movement. Alright. Okay. So, uh, you're doing... The first one is... Uh, your free one is a... a is a, 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 a reposition, you said? Yeah, I'm repositioning. Excellent. Uh, uh, let's have that roll for me, please. Said it's, what was it? Athletics? Yeah, so dexterity. Eight plus ten plus three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Twenty-one. 19, 20, 21. The first attack misses. Well, the first Lumar to leap at you, you may roll and reposition yourself if you'd like, by all means. Ah! Okay, let me see. Uh, <laughs> here. Here. Does, uh, does Nyoka make that noise as he repositions? God, I hope so. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> was it here? That was 40 feet. I love it. There. Okay. There. Okay. I uh, guess. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Here. <laughs> yeah. Let me go over there. I'll How do you the bend back. the ruler? Uh, you right click right while you're holding left. Oh, I love how Luna and I had the same moment. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, I need a straight ruler shot if someone would kindly give me uh, just a straight ruler from not this guy, but these these three here. I just I just highlighted them as if you guys could see that. I'm so sorry. They still got movement. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, I guess they are pretty fucking fast, aren't They're they? Fast, fast as fuck. 
Are they faster than Nioka, though? What's that? I'm not providing the rulers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, that's fair. Okay, that is freaking cool. I am going to abuse this. Oh, I love the I love this. I'm learning new stuff about Roll Twenty, and I've been a part of this website for years. Same. <laughs> Excellent. We got three. Oh, you don't want them behind a wall. That's fine. We got three more. Uh, you may, of course, uh, spend some stamina to make some defense if you'd like. Um, how much does stam? How much uh, stamina do I spend for defensive actions? Uh, I think it's three as well, isn't it? Three, three. Okay. Wow. I remember like the weirdest fucking things sometimes. So what you got for me? Ash? Yeah, I'll parry. Parry, interesting. Uh, this is a bite attack. Describe to me a parry, please. Parry, I could parry an attack minus three to my weapon melee brawling roll. If succeeded, you knock the opponent opponent weapons attack, so I knock his teeth out, uh, and not <laughs> only negate the attack, but do so without damaging your weapon. Your opponent is also staggered. Uh, you cannot parry bow or crossbow attacks, but I can. Um, but can parry thrown weapons. That's really um, cool. I'm I'm picturing it's just like Edge just like pulling one of his blades up and it taking a bite at the blade instead and just shattering its teeth on it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so it's a weapon. So my parry. Seven, eighteen, twenty-eight. Take some narrative control. How do you parry? What happens here? Uh, you know, comes in, tries to bite me, bites my sword. You know, I fling it out, ah, like a little gremlin across the room. You know, uh, and in fact, you know, because it was his teeth, it actually sharpens my blade. You know, so yeah. <laughs> you gonna argue for you gonna argue for a plus one d six damage to your weapon? Now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, um, yeah. Let's have sharpening statistics. Uh, and now, two... now it's it's staggered as well. Staggered. Copy so. that. Uh, you got two more to deal with. You can make a defensive roll, or you can just let it happen. Oh my gosh! And recovery for stamina is every every session, right? It's every day. <laughs> Every I am day, no, I'm terrified, day. and I'm also regretting the fact that I did dump nine points of stamina into that axie that I used on you before we came here. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have some downtime coming up. I'm gonna parry. I, I hope so. <laughs> we're gonna need some downtime. Yeah, parry as well. Yeah, parry one more time. Copy that. Understood. Uh, and then I'm gonna eat the second hit. How's Cersei's stamina doing? Hmm, it's okay. I'm. I'm. I'd like not to spend as much, if I can help it. All right, because you had to spend ten to dispel that. So you're at what? Twenty seven now. Twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, twenty six. Twenty six. Oh, or I wrote wow. twenty six. My bad. I wrote. We're 10. triplets. <laughs> the result of your roll, if you'd kindly. Twenty six. Twenty six. Okay. Parry again. Yeah, it sharpens the other side of my oh blade my this time. Oh. Final one here, Yoko. I'll eat this one. Eat this one. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yoko. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh-oh. Why do you do this to us? Why, why are you the way that you are? <laughs> I didn't choose to eat this one. Listen, relax. Um, you're going to take... Oh, let's... We have to calculate some things. They're the weakest of the vampire. But... Uh, so, rolling to hit this creature. Uh, you parry uh, two of them. You dodge... Uh, re rather, reposition against one. And you move back here. Three of them follow you behind. You parry them, shattering their teeth. You can feel as if... The edge of your sword is a bit sharpened. 
uh, in comparison. Now, lunging forward, the one in front of you, latches onto the side of your face. Your cheek and your jaw is now being bitten by this creature. You're going to take 24 damage. Golly. That's a few. Jeez. You can feel the blood draining from your face as it begins to feed. However, you had a question. You had something? Oh no, I was just gonna. I was just. I was just gonna say maybe the maybe the higher vampire wouldn't have been the worst one to fight. <laughs> Man, twenty four damage. You can feel the blood draining from your face. That is the end of the plumar storm. We are back at the top of the round to a corpse who is a corpse. So uh, we go to the second in initiative order to Nyoka. All right. Um, so two of them are staggered. Uh, so they have a minus two to their attack and defense. Correct. Uh, so I guess I will. I mean, I'm surrounded. So what, I have a minus three to my defense or attack, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. The only way I can move, I can't really move through their space, right? You absolutely can. They are smaller than you. Um, okay, then I roll behind this one. Excellent. Ah. And then I, I attack it. With a fast attack. By all means. Uh, 6, 17, 27 to hit. This dice is no longer being rolled. Uh, 27 hits. Sweet. Uh, damage location is a 1. So, oh, you said don't worry about damage locations, right? Yeah, still. Uh, I, don't think it's, I don't think it would matter really much. Okay. Um, plus four, uh, sixteen plus two, eighteen total to damage for that one. Takes a nerve control. Yeah, it f fucking flings out the air. I take it, you know, after it's done sucking my blood, and you know, I suck my blood back and <laughs> throw it to the ground. So, and by any watcher's standpoint, uh, thank you, Bendy, I appreciate that. Uh, you see, well, you guys would see Nyoka uh, get attacked, have something latch onto its face, onto his face, uh, as it rears back and sort of screeches, Nyoka takes a moment to uh, roll underneath it, stabbing it, and then sort of draining its blood with his own draining his blood back into his own body that thing falls dead uh amazing incredible then I'll move back in, into that position and attack this one uh with the second attack but I mean strong or fast oh this is still fast correct yeah this is the fast one understood Eight plus eleven is nineteen plus ten, twenty nine to hit. Twenty nine thirty thirty one to hit because I have a plus two accuracy. Getting really I irritated with these tends to accuracy. keep rolling ones. It hits. <laughs> no. That was some heavy dice. I love that, that was, sound. It was aggressive. <laughs> well, y'all heard it. Yeah, that was a, uh, that was a power move. I mean, we are fighting vampires, even if they are lesser. So, I mean, deservedly so. Uh, 15. Take some narrative control. Uh, yeah, and I move back and I, you know, pierce this one in midair, you know, straight stab. You do this, you see Nyoka, uh, 
with extreme accuracy, now has a shish kebab of plumard. Oh, perfect. I bet they're tasty. I love that for him. She had a fire going. Uh, and I guess I'll spend another three stamina. Spending another three stamina. Yeah. Get more of your so, blood back. Consume it. <laughs> attack this uh, this last one that's near me, at least. Um, Sep, are you pleased that creatures are being eaten alive? <laughs> uh, uh, strong attack. I keep having to reposition in my brain what I'm about to do because I've had like four different ideas for how to do things and now it's becoming swiftly unnecessarily unnecessary. You know, I'm okay with that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, 26 to hit. I'm not going to lie. I have enough movement to get to where I need to go, but if I didn't, I was going to ask to see if I could take an action to see to ask Elodie to toss me. Uh, 26 hits. So that's 17, and it's doubled, right? So 34. Take some narrative control. I... <laughs> uh, I just strong. This is a strong. So I, you know, I lift both swords like in tandem, almost like it's one blade, and I just, you know, fucking obliterate it. Nothing's left. The wings, the body goes down, and the wings kind of levitate in the air a bit, and then it falls down afterwards. Not a bisection, but a trisection. How occurs here? Just as you say, Yoka. I have a feeling that Ramos's kindness is really going to stop after this combat. <laughs> you know. I'm not saying shit. I mean, you fucking, you did I... take half my health in one hit <laughs> with the weakest vampire creature <laughs> there is. Uh, so, yeah. You've got, uh, that it was your, your strong attack, that was your extra attack. Uh, anything else, Nyoga, anything else you'd like to uh, narratively do? No. Okay. You don't want to take a chomp out of that bat? Oh. No. You want to Ozzy Osbourne this shit? Uh, <laughs> yes! Ingrid, if you'd kindly. Okay, seeing... Uh, Ingrid is was, like, mathing a few different things in her head that uh, that she could do, and seeing as how Nyoka has things under control where he is, uh, this one is still alive over here, right? Hold on. Uh, and, oh, that's how I do it. That one, right? Uh, say so again, yes, this is the only one that is uh, left that you guys need to deal with. Elodie is dealing with everything else. Okay. Um, once again, uh, adjusting herself, she goes into a dead sprint and starts just like the fucking Hulk in her own way, just bounding over the edges there, over the ledges there, and then uh, leading right up with her movement to land right in front of that creature, and as she lands, she will, with all her force, pull another heavy strike down onto onto this one. Understood. A strong strike. Uh, I'm going to take, or rather, strong. the plumard is going to take a, uh, a dodge. We're going to actually have this one take a reposition. These are foam swords, by the way. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> Uh, so what, how does that work? Do I do my rolls first? Oh, yes, this is a post. So you're taking your, this is to your two hit, uh, roll to hit and we'll, we'll see who's, who comes out on top. As a nine naturally plus 10, 19 plus 10, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 24 total. 24 to a 23. Your attack hits. Wow. <laughs> Just mm. this is the one she's gonna she, trust. As, as she sees the thing trying to dodge and reposition herself, she just pivots her sword slightly and brings it right into its pathway, Let's have some horizontally damage. cutting. Huh? Let's have some damaging grid. Yes. Uh, that is once again sixty-six plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one fell. Uh, six, twelve, 
17, 2, 3, 20, 25 damage. Take some narrative control. Uh, like I said, she, as she sees uh, this creature attempting to do the dodge, she will twist her sword just a little bit, change its angle of, uh, of descent, and just bring it right down, uh, diagonally cutting it. As just as you say, Ingrid, uh, you cut the creature as it is mid-flight, uh, attempting reposition. That is, for the for uh, your sakes, the end of what you need to deal with, and we are out of initiative order. Whoop. We're going to take this moment to take a quick brief intermission for Tekken Bio. Well done, guys. You guys have uh, one shot my exposition machine. Love that. Thanks for that. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back here in about five to ten minutes for uh, for the remainder of the episode to see what's what's going on here. Thank you guys. We'll see you guys very soon. Welcome back. Thank you for your patience. We appreciate you guys. We are uh, in this moment uh, complete and out of combat. You guys are essentially watching Elodie pull support basically pull ads um still uh moving very swiftly throughout this chamber cutting things down left and right it takes her just a number of a few short minutes to finish the rest um ingrid is immediately going to be moving to uh the body of the higher vampire and um she is going to start uh she's gonna pull out her silver sword and start hacking away at him making sure that it's difficult for him to regenerate and then harvesting what she can understood point of note nyoka is that where you're standing i guess unless there's something there <laughs> <laughs> isn't that where the book was uh upper uh the book is uh occupying the same space as the uh, as Yuan. um Nyoka, okay. you step into that area. I would like a roll from you, please. Oh, no. Oh. All of a sudden, Nyoka's just teleported away. Oh. <laughs> oh. What kind of roll? Will and resist magic, please. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Did you put points in resist magic? Of course I didn't. I didn't either. I just have spell I casting. Shit. Well, I would with the mage. I would hope knows how to resist magic. <laughs> Seventeen. Seventeen. Oh no, Nyoka. You're cold. Incredibly cold, and for a brief moment, you don't feel as if you're in this chamber anymore. Something moves up your spine. Something chills you to the bone, past just the the uh, outermost layer, freezing you down to your marrow. Are we talking about like white frost cold? As if you're caught in a blizzard with nothing but your birthday suit. It's incredibly cold. Holy shit! There are no words the level it is there's a certain point in which you reach cold where it begins to burn every fiber of your body every inch of your skin feels uncomfortable it stings in ah. front of you oh damn it in this single moment is a being clad in armor heavy steel unpolished and stained by blood a red cloak or cape covering his right arm it is deep maroon color he wears a helmet with spikes surrounding like a crown what is covering his face is a metallic visage of a skull and suddenly we're back in the chamber what do I know? I'm I'm right there. Uh, I know I'm like 
carving away at the higher vampire, but Nyoka just stepped right up to pretty much where I'm at. I would have noticed. Do, do I see anything happening to him? I would say in this moment, uh, I would allow both Ingrid... Cersei, what are you up to out of curiosity? Um, she was... You said LD was, like, finishing up with the rest of the... Mm -hmm. The thing. She was just waiting for her to step down from the pillar and just be like, wow. Okay. Um... Ingrid, I'd like uh, an intelligence awareness, please. Uh, yes, sir. Cersei, uh, <laughs> as the majority of the danger has passed, that I can explodes. see the overconfidence, perhaps, of Elodie. The, uh, the joy in this. There's extra flips. 30. There's turns in the air. There's subtle winks that only you are meant to catch. Now she's just showing off. Said thirty, yeah, thirty. Okay. You don't see what Nyoka sees. But what you do see is him stop and pause. Nyoka, what is the look on your face when you see the man in front of you, clad in armor? Uh, anger. You see Nyoka suddenly enraged. Um. As he lets out an exhale, you can see, you can see his breath. Quite clearly. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. Would that? Tr would you think that would trigger memories of a specific past event? I'll leave that up to you to decide. Ingrid, in that moment, is going to uh, attempt to grab Nyoka and pull him out of that section. Nyoka, a flash of this being, and then some. Suddenly, someone is reaching for you. Uh, I react sharply as being in a, you know, kind of mistaking you for, for this being at first. And then, uh, I'll say, uh, we need to go. Sharply as in you're attacking me or sharply as in just like, you know, how somebody grabs you and then you're like, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and then he realizes that is that is you, and then yeah, he'll be like, "We need to go." Is it is it what I think? I saw your breath. It depends on what you think. I say we grab the body and get out of here. Agreed. Um, Ingrid is going to look towards where Cersei and is. Um, uh, <laughs> Watching Elodie, I was trying to look for a different word, and it's just not coming. It's just not coming to me. Ogling. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Where Cersei is ogling Elodie and be like, "We need to leave. It is worse than we thought." Like leave the entire. We need to leave. Okay. And she, and Ingrid is going to grab the decapitated body and sling it over her shoulder. Um. Cersei would give like. Yeah, she would look to Elodie, and then real quick, kind of snap back to business. And um, before I pick up the book, do I sense anything coming off of it? Is it cursed? Does not feel cursed. No role okay. required. Certain tomes uh, may give off such things or have uh, certain wards placed on them, but no, uh, no immediate, nothing immediate for your for your senses here. I see no problem with cursed item grabbing. Help me. <laughs> uh, she'll reach for it and, and she'll pick it up. And just, uh... Do you see? Uh, pocket it, I guess. Understood. As Ingrid is slinging the body over her shoulder for the moment, she will look to Nyoka and say, Grab the head. We do not need to leave any piece of them behind. Yeah, of course. Cersei, do you see anything? Do you feel anything? Any magic? Yeah, Not here. here. Are you sure? Do I? In this moment, Cersei, I need the rule from you, please. Okay, okay, okay. Very similar okay. to your magic detection. Um, 
Uh, what would you like for me to roll? I'm going to say will, and I'm going to give you a full choice. Um, If I get a choice, spellcasting. By all means. Mm. Me not trying to accidentally metagame, but I am trying to make sure I remember we did confirm with Elodie before that, um, with the, about the wild hunt stuff, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you that's exactly what Ingrid's thinking. <laughs> that's a 10. Okay. Oh, okay, 4. So, 10, 4. And 4. 14. Math. 30. 30. Ooh, nice. This place is inherently magical. You may have shut something off, but something still sits in the stonework itself. It's as if you can see where it has fallen to ruin. You feel the pillars still there. As if it is a... Uh, a ghost of what it once was. You can almost touch what you would call the archway that is present here. I mean, it's... She kind of takes on that dreamy kind of tone. It's all magical. But... Does anybody have a to uh, coin? I mean, I feel like you have a, a lot of coins. Oh, Ingrid has a lot of coins. Oh, yeah, no, Ingrid has coins. I'm talking about, like, IRL. Does anybody have a coin they can flip for me really quick? Heads or tails? I can do odds and evens for you. Uh, sure. Okay. okay. Odds. Okay. Uh, continue. Seriously, I'm going to do something once you're done. No, it's all magical. But nothing threatening. We can leave. As... Ingrid has the higher vampire's body on one shoulder. An intrusive thought hits her brain and she gives into it. She reaches a hand to where Nyoka was and tries to feel what's there. It's distinctly colder. It's not biting, but it's cold. She will, in that coldness, she will turn her hand and give the finger and then pull it right back. <laughs> Understood. And then says, we, 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 really, we really need to leave. There is a look of utter fear in uh, her eyes. Uh, where is Elodie right now? Standing with Cersei. The wild hunt could be coming. What do you mean? I mean, am I correct? Let's get somewhere safe. Okay. okay. As, and I'll look to Elodie and give her a look like, are you cool with that? Elodie nods. Uh, she is now taking the moment to sort of eye the gateway. Let's, um, do you want to just leave this area entirely? Go back up? To the surface? Probably the best. Okay. What were you going to say? You, do you feel there's anything? Would they have anybody else down here, Elodie? It's a 1200 packs of twos. They have a uh, about now. This should be it. Two for two. Good. Okay. Ingrid's gonna start walking, pulling a. <laughs> pull, I was gonna say pulling pulling a note from Nioka and just start walking. Seriously, so we'll walk with Elodie. You are uh, the three of you are withdrawing from the space entirely, not just this chamber, but intent on moving upwards, up and out of Old Vizima. Micro. As far as, as I'm agree understood, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Ingrid's going to want to get as far away from this place right now as possible. Seriously? Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. 
on the way out, I will grab uh, Colgrim. Taking Colgrim with you? Yeah. Understood. You move. All of you, the way you came. I'm assuming, I'm posing the question, I should say, assuming is, uh, generally finds me in poor, in poor circumstances. Are all of you ignoring the, uh, the remnants of the plumarts? Are you no, not harvesting them? There's hundreds of bodies. I'm... Can you pocket, like, a few? You can pocket, I don't know. You can grab a few, like, like, like dead chickens... I'll get grab them by the legs and just start taking them with you if you'd like. Just we can cook some later. I heard they're legs. pretty good eating. <laughs> um, I, I, to be fair, perfectly fair, Ingrid is carrying a full fucking body. She's carrying, so it's going to be up to, uh, and so is Nyoka. So whatever, I guess whatever plumards are we picked up are going to be through Elodie or Cersei. I Do you see. want to handle? I assume you witchers want these parts. She says it just like that. We can. If you do not I... mind holding the gore. Yeah, no, it's fine. How many can I pick up? Uh again, a lot like um mm -hmm. a lot like dead chickens. Um <laughs> I hate myself. Um uh or if you're hunting rabbits, um to not handle this awkwardly, geese, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I'd say you could probably grab three or four if you so okay. choose. Yeah. yeah, cutest thing I ever fucking saw in my life. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll grab. I'll grab four if I can. And then the four of you make your way out of Old Vizima for the Undercity, the ruins of Elven civilization. With the knowledge that something magical lies just below the surface, you return to uh, the edge of the ghettos of Izima and find that the day is still present, but it has uh, the sun has moved, indeed moved in the sky. You are dealing with uh, the crest out of afternoon and into evening. We had our horses with us, right? We let we just left them at the top of the ruins. Yes, uh, if you recall, you placed a twig or a branch that is going to be there for eternity. <laughs> I love that. That's fantastic. Very cool. I will give pretty good a couple of pats, a little bit. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe go over to um, uh, uh, Cersei and take off a little bit of the wing of one of those things and. Uh, <laughs> give it to a pretty good to nibble on oh no she's what? like okay is this going on your horse okay that's fine she says that at, she says um very well as she um as she lifts the bot the the corpse of the higher vampire off of her shoulders and puts it on the haunches of uh of pretty good and starts strapping him down pretty good is a headless fucking corpse fairly used to this type of uh this type <laughs> of hauling at this point um she's pretty good yeah pretty good <laughs> god damn it I love my. Oh, pretty I'm good. Pretty going good. to look with a body on a horse, like a I, person body. I have a. I have a blanket that I could put over him. I, I'll let you take care of that. Okay. Okay. Actually, in point of fact, Ingrid will just pull out her silver sword, pack his legs off, put him onto the back. Put him, put him onto his back, strap it to him so it's just a torso and legs and arms, like, and <laughs> and then put a a thing over that so it just looks like a pack on the back Perfect. of pretty good. You Four are cards. quite strong, and this is not move. This is not going to obviously not going to be able to dodge or reposition or or parry by any means. Um, I will preface this by saying you are above ground. And you are in the on the edges of the ghettos of Vizima, but there, you are in civilization at this point. If anybody approaches while she's doing that, fucking Nyoka has the head. She's just gonna point out and say, "Vampire, Witcher." <laughs> just like that. I mean, seriously, we could just 
pull the head well, up I, and just I pull know. the lips back and just be like, see? I, I know. <laughs> it's, just, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> and yes, once again, Ingrid's armor is now probably covered in blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's the plan now? What do we want to do? Do we rest for the evening? Do we... I don't know. I need a place to store this body. Yes, you do. Maybe yeah. for safety reasons, we should all stay in one place. Do you think, and I could pay you, Cersei, if you need to, we could simply stay at your shop? She'll look, she'll look to Elodie, and then she'll kind of let out a sigh, and then, that's okay. Yeah, we'll do that. That sounds good. Very good. Elodie. Was that you at my window? I was, um... When? This morning. Before the sun broke. I was, uh, in this post. Last evening. Well into the morning. Ingrid's mathing really quick. I see blushing. And yeah, we do. Do I notice? Different place to stay. I would say, certainly unless you're doing something to hide uh, the blush, I would say it's yes. looking down. Uh, what would you say, Nyoko? Oh, uh, we do need to find a new place to stay. No, my shop is fine. As long as that's not going to wake up. She'll point at the body. I can make sure it does not, at least anytime soon, based on what we have learned from Elodie. Is that correct, Elodie? Will, if the more damage we inflict upon his body, the longer it'll take for him to potentially regenerate? Incorrect, actually. The moment of strike, uh, he's, uh... May halt his regeneration, but not delay it any more than it is already, uh... Destined. Ingrid is going to whisper under her breath, Destiny and fate is bullshit. Notes for later. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I, I don't have another choice. Judging, uh, she looks to you, Nyoka. Basing it off of uh, what I've seen. Uh, your strikes, it will take the better part of a year in order to regenerate. So he will not just wake up <laughs> while we are sleeping? Not with the, um, the damage it was dealt. The strikes were clean. Hmm. That is good enough for me. Shall we go? Yes. Ingrid mounts pretty good. Another pack, another pat on her head. Says, I know. She, she will lean forward and whisper, I know it's heavy. Do not worry. We will get you fed soon. Are you okay, Nyoko? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And lastly, she'll just start. She'll look to Elodie one more time and smile and then just start trotting. On the horse. To her shop. What's your horse's name? I don't know. I don't know. That's a pretty good name. I kind of yeah. dig that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys move through the city. Strange uh, remnants of blood leak down pretty good, pretty good uh, hind quarters. But you move. I mean, and no one approaches you. For questions or for concern. You move through the city. The scene is yours if you'd like conversation. If not, we'll press on. Ingrid will try to match pace with Nyoka and say, with a with a with a pretty heavy breath, she's not meeting his gaze or anything, but she will say, Your skill against this one. And against the 
Plumards was very, very good. Uh, I have not seen something like that in many years, skill like that. Thank you. No. They did get me, so I don't like to be touched. Understandable, but you definitely gave them more than they took. She said uh, for almost a year. We need to capitalize on that. Learn as much as we can. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I intend on pouring over his book as much as I can, as long as it takes. That was not cursed or anything, was it? I'm not sure how that magic stuff works. I didn't feel anything. Hmm. I mean, the reason I didn't, I left you both to the Plumars is because I was actually dispelling something from the book. I not, I know not what, but it could have been bad. So I took care of it. I have a pretty good idea what it was. Uh, Ingrid's brow furrows as you say that, Cersei. And then what Neoka says, and then she says, I wonder if they were summoning reinforcements. Or allies. Let's not, let's not talk of them in the public. Mm. There's a look that crosses over Ingrid's face that's like, oh yeah, we are in public, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Um... She's definitely... Ingrid is currently very much in her head about a lot of things right now. Um, she is not meeting anybody's gaze. She's just kind of speaking. Um, Cersei will... If she wasn't already match pace with Elodie and say, um, my love, why didn't you attack the Broxa? Not that I'm complaining that you were standing between me and it, but... Not gonna lie, I thought Edge was gonna be the one to pull that one. Listen, I'm curious as fuck. <laughs> uh, she looks away from you, Cersei. Uh, she hesitates <sighs> long enough for you to think that she may be ignoring your question. And as you are ready to ask again, or perhaps press, or perhaps leave it be, uh, depending on your emotions, your own mood. She speaks up finally. There was a pact between all of us. The original, uh, the original tribunal. We would never harm the, uh, our lessers. Not the ones that followed us. It was, um... Magically enforced. In this way I still wear chains. Uh, uh, magically enforced, or so you're like, oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Um, oh. Are they close oh. enough for Ingrid to hear this? I think it's riding together. Um, I would say so. What's your okay. senses? Ingrid's not going to respond or anything right now, but I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want to meta game. Well, uh, Cersei kind of thinks for a moment. No, that makes sense. Um, thank you for telling me. Part of the reason, um, I feel I must do this alone, for many reasons. Uh, to be clear, I am able to, uh, I am capable of striking, of injuring, but this curse, this hex, Ewan was, uh, very clearly 
not fit for direct combat. But his magical prowess was something to marvel at. If I strike anyone in the tribunal, officially taking oath, I will uh, revert and descend into uh, one control of myself. Ingrid is going to start making pace, slowing down to keep be at, be at the side of Elodie. She's not saying anything just yet, but she's definitely more curious. I lose myself for a determined amount of time, and you would be in danger. Your friends would be in danger. Okay. Understood. Is it something that can be lifted? <laughs> I'm not certain. You, uh... You've always amazed me with the things you can do. If you had a few years, if you could focus... My confidence in you is infallible. You flatter me. I'll, Ingrid uh, will... Oh, go on. No, she said, then I'll look into it. Ingrid will speak up then. So you cannot actually attack any of them. It sounds like what you need are tools. What you need are weapons. As Nyoka would say, what are we witchers? I'm not in the uh, business of having others fight my battles. This is a new, uh, a new experience for me. You're not the only one that wants to protect Cersei. You're not the only one that wants to protect these people. Do not let your love for her cloud that. I know what it can do, and then she'll start. She'll speed up. Melody says nothing more. She rides in silence. There is a uh, recovery as you move through this this, uh, this city. You have moments to reflect. You have moments to think. I'd like to assess each of you, if I may. Do I have a volunteer? I don't mind either way, unless anybody else has to go. Sure. Hmm. What am I volunteering for? Cersei, I want nothing less than your thoughts. Okay. How does Cersei feel about the things she saw? Where is her head at? What is um, the... Uh, what is the emotions that are coursing through you currently? Cersei is... She has, um, her head is very loud, and she's trying to focus on one thing at a time. But other thoughts keep um, interjecting. And she thinks about pouring over the book and what horrors she'll find with it and men trying to mentally prepare for that. She thinks about, she thinks about phoning a friend. Sending a bird to her mentor to ask for help with the this curse that Elodie described and has a pang of like she misses her. Um she's honestly a little scared for the first time in a long time. And now more than ever doesn't want to leave. Elodie's side if she could help it interesting very interesting Ingrid if I may pry what are your emotions your thoughts 
the things you've just seen are numerous. But what do you? What is on your mind? There's a lot that courses through her mind. Her mind is a chaotic tundra, if you will. Um, there's outwardly there's anger. There's fear. There's a, a, a twinge of sadness. There's memories that are coursing through her. She's remembering Aaron. She's remembering Bear Keep. The letter that Nyoka had written, uh, re uh, read aloud before still lingers in her mind. She knows what's happening at Bear Keep right now, or at least an idea of what's going on there. And she absolutely doesn't like it. She knows what they're going against, at least in theory. And it's not the same anger, fear, and rage that was coursing through her when she had first discovered uh, Elodie's true nature. And it's it's not raw. It's calculated. It's deep-seated. Um, it, it'll show in just how she grips Pretty Good's reins, um, how she clenches her jaw, doesn't let herself relax. Um, her eyes are always forward. She meets nobody's gaze. Right now, she is deep in thought, even as she says things. Um, she's worried that Elodie is also blinded by her emotions for Cersei to the point where she's not going to be able to properly protect her because, um, because she thinks only she can. And that's going to get people killed more than letting us help her. And there's a lot. There's absolutely a lot. And the one thing that she is thinking of right now is Aaron would know what to do in this situation. But she does not. Very interesting. Thank you. Nyoka. Your thoughts, your emotions, I would like to know them. I need a smoke. No, for Nyoka, it's... Uh... It's very much like a checklist he's running in his head, you know, kind of making the connection of that mist, you know, his previous location is known, needs to move, studying anatomy of this vampire, knowledge needs to learn, you know, the book, magic, you know, the wild hunt needs more people, uh, hire vampires, you know. There's there's a, a lot of things that's running through his head that uh, he's just running a list of things he needs to do. Also, swallow potion. <laughs> Understood. Insightful. Tactical. You take this moment, you reflect. You sort your minds out. Sort your emotions out. Or perhaps some of you don't. Perhaps some of you repress things. Perhaps some of you fixate on others. Either way, eventually, you reach the fox and the crow. Home sweet home, safe at last. Okay, let me open up. And she'll hitch her horse. Um... And unlock the door and just hold it open for whoever's coming in. Ingrid will get off pretty good. Um, the covered bloody sack that is, uh, I keep forgetting his name, um, on the back of pretty good. She just, she she's going to try her best to take it off still covered. So that she's not going to make too much of a scene, you know, pulling a body into Cersei's shop. Um, she's actually going to try to stealthily and quietly pull this in, which... Oh, good luck. Should I roll for that? <laughs> I'll allow it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If I could bring uh, uh, Colgrim in as well. Just... Oh, right. We do have two bodies. Attic, please. Yeah. Bring the bodies up to the attic. 
Elodie offers to tend to the horses in order to get the bodies out of sight as quickly as possible. So Ingrid and Yoka, do you allow her to tend to your horses? Just out of curiosity. Ingrid looks a little concerned for a moment. Nobody outside of one other specific person in uh, her life has really uh, tended to pretty good. She opens her mouth to say something, then looks to Cersei, and then just allows it. She doesn't say anything else. She just takes a breath. If Cersei, tr pretty much, if Cersei trusts her, she trusts her in that moment. So, yeah, okay. Uh, he just, yeah, he really doesn't acknowledge it. He just goes, um, internally, he's, yeah, taking a mental note of it, though. Understood. The three of you are in the shop, making your way up to the, uh, to the attic, where you may, uh, deal with the bodies, as it were. As oh, yours. Ingrid just... Flings the th flings the bloody sack right onto the ground, and uh, pulls it open. Blood. Is it? Um. Oh. It's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Um. Trying to think. Uh, Hold on. Let me look at my inventory really quick. Where's well, my character sheet? While you do that, uh, Cersei, you had something. Oh no, she was just saying, oh, that's going to soak the wood, the, all the blood. Noted. Um, she's just watching them handle the body. It's still it, it, her mind going a mile a minute. But trying not to really show it on her face. Understood. She will try to make sure that the body is under, is on top of the blanket that she had used to pull it in and cover it so it's trying not to she's trying to keep the the damage to a minimum uh now that she knows that cersei is bothered by it um and she's actively making an effort to make sure that it's not damaging any of the important bits of the attic understood yeah, okay you have any aether cersei that i could buy of course i could heal you it's up yeah. to you uh, ST, what I have. I, I think we talked about this. What I have things to make a swallow potion? Yes. Uh, we determined uh, that you have a number of things. We should probably go over your inventory soon. Probably uh, should. But it's a massive inventory. <laughs> for the time being, we'll say yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm just waiting for my funds and Cersei's unlimited supplies, apparently, to uh, be taken away from us. Well, I might, <laughs> I might need my stamina up to look over this book. Why don't you make your potion first and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, uh, I just need Aether ingredient uh, to make this potion because I have the rest. Um, it was a half an hour to craft time with a mm -hmm. DC of uh, 16. So. She'll just um, like she's running the store just, just descend the stairs and go grab it. Falling into old habits, uh, Elodie finishes tending the horses and then begins to take up a space behind the counter where she used to stand, Cersei. Moving, shifting things. Have you changed things since the two of you ran the store together? Not really. She's tracing her fingers on bottles, on ingredients. Almost assessing. She grabs things for you uh, from higher shelves. You need to fall back into old habits. Almost like in the same way um, she would stand a little closer to Elodie when speaking to her when running the store. Um, she would say, uh, be right back. Don't go anywhere. She smiles, she doesn't reply, but she smiles and then begins to 
take up her usual space and kind of just lean on the counter and watch the door. And uh, I will run the Aether up to Nyoko. While that's happening, um, Ingrid, with the body splayed out before her, she's looking at the torso for a second. And then she pulls out her dagger, kneels in front of it, drives it into its chest, and carves out its heart. You're not wasting time, are you? There's no point in wasting time with this. Even if he takes the same amount of time, what we learn, the, the things that we can take from him before, are vital, as you said. So why waste time? And she's continuing to carve. Don't rush it. There's only one. She'll hesitate for a second then and take a pretty shaky breath. You're right. I am... I am scared. Even though you dispatched him quite quickly, I... I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm scared. And she'll take the heart that she just carved out and just look at it, her hand trembling. Fair is just an opportunity. <laughs> opportunity for what? To be brave. She'll smile at that. Maybe that was something very familiar to her, in a way. Her eyes get a little watery. And that is all she'll say in the moment. I would say that Cersei... I'd like to say that Cersei caught that last bit. Um... She was climbing the ladder, and um, it was kind of, oh. and then we'll bring the the aether. Here you are. Thank you. Anytime. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. He's going to immediately start making the potion. Yeah. I know he ha he has a alchemy kit. Um. And I'm sure you have an alchemy set too. So, but yeah. I'll need some rolls from the two of you, Ingrid. Oh, wow. I already started. I was going to do something else. But yes, go. What's up? Uh, as you are harvesting, uh, you are severing. Are you pulling anything of interest? Would you like to harvest? Or are you intent on dismemberment? Right now, it's pure dismemberment. Understood. The only thing that she was intent on grabbing was his heart. I will give that to you freely. Um, I was about to say, I would, he's not gonna, he's not gonna just grab my hand. I mean, that smirk that you gave me when you when I said that, um, terrifying me. Um, I would say that after, um, after Ingrid pulls the heart out, she will set it down. Look at the gaping wound in his chest for a second. And she's going to abruptly, without saying anything, stand up and go downstairs to where Elodie is. Understood. Nyoka, you are crafting. E. This is going to take time for Swallow Potion. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. This is a, uh, I wrote a novice decoction, correct? Um, let me double check. Should be. It just says it's formulae. We have a DC though, correct? 16. Yeah, 16. Excellent. Yep. By all means. I wrote a 19. Well, a 19. 
Oh, yeah. nice. I wrote, just to make sure I did it right, I wrote Alchemy and Craft. So. Perfect. In 30 minutes time, Yoko, you will have a potion suitable for consumption by witchers. No one else. Mm. I mean, they could drink it. They can. Um, Thirsty would have left before Ingrid did. Um, back to Elodie. Oh, uh, so she's going to be there to see this. Cool. Yep. What you got for me, Cersei? She was just going to check on her. In this moment, and she thought she had privacy. She's going to check on her and see how she's doing. She gives a smile. It's a familiar smile. It's more of a smirk. It's a little cocky. It's charming. She says, We are in business together in many different ways now, you know? United in many things. I would say so. Then how could it not be all right? Hmm. Wait. And she would kiss her. She kisses you. She takes your hand as you pull away and she says, How are you? Me? I'm I'm okay. Do you promise me? I'm sorry. Do you promise me? Promise what? It's you all right. Uh she'll take a shaky breath, um and then compose herself. I do. Really. Promise. Your uh, schoolmates, they trained for politics in combat. This was not your uh, desired outcome, though. You wanted differently. I mean, I just wanted to help people. I feel like I'm still doing that. Ingrid has, considering she left right not long after Cersei had went back downstairs, um, had hesitated at the, at the foot of the steps. Um, she's listening. She's not saying anything in the moment, but she's listening. Ingrid, give me a stealth roll. Uh, Cersei, let's see if you notice. LD. I'll be honest, it's probably going to notice, um, but we'll see. She's not trying to hide, technically, but she's just... Oh, yes, just... Uh, she, she came down with purpose, and then the moment she's heard some of the things that were being said, hmm. stopped. Of course. Um, it's For mechanical sake, uh, it's far easier to have you roll in conjunction, or rather as opposed rolls, rather than just me set a DC for how sneaky Ingrid is. Um, but by all means... Can I, can I roll too? Four... If I if I'm aware of uh, Ingrid, just <laughs> kind of eavesdropping. Twenty one. I'll allow it. A twenty one, Cersei. What did you want me to roll? I'm so sorry. Uh, either yeah, intelligence awareness, please. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, twenty. Oh fuck, twenty. <laughs> Damn. Uh, 10, 18, 22. Wow. One, one, one higher and one shorter. I love this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. I will say for... it, You're just seeing me, right? I'm... You, it, uh, Nioka, I'll just say right now that what... I'm sorry, I don't mean to take over, uh, Storyteller. Moments. Um, uh, what Ingrid is doing does not denote that she's actively eavesdropping. But that something stopped her mid-stride, and that she's hesitating in a moment to continue going down. She's she's not looking directly at them. If anything, she's looking past them. Nielka, what you know is that Ingrid began to walk downstairs, 
and suddenly stopped. There is no conversation taking place between the three of them. There are still only two voices that are muffled. You don't really hear what they're saying, but you know that Ingrid has not joined the conversation, but you are aware of that. Cersei, you are not. You are in a moment with Elodie. Mm-hmm. Nyoko, do you do anything with this information? No. I love this so much. This is so on brand. Oh. I want to roll to notice them. Cool. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> I love that. That is so fantastic and on brand. Elodie, Fine, then keep your secrets. <laughs> uh, turns fully towards you, Cersei. He pulls you closer. For some reason, she whispers. I love being near you. And I love being home. Most of all, I love that you have found people that love you as well. And she kisses your cheek. And withdraws. Well, of course I love having you home. I was going to ask if you would stay with me tonight. I don't think there is a any cabal of higher vampires that could keep me out of your bed tonight. That is settled. Perfect. I'll break out the wine. And she actually will go get a bottle of wine. Excellent. Do you, does that turn you in the direction of the stairs to notice that Ingrid has been there the whole fucking time? I would say... Probably out of the oh, I... corner of your eye. Mm -hmm. With a 20 to compared to a 21, one below, I think you would, upon turning, realize that suddenly you are not alone. There's... You will notice then what uh, Nyoka couldn't from looking at her at the back. Her eyes are distant. Like she was listening, but she's not there. Cersei was uh, at first seeing Ingrid. Not annoyed, but just like, why am I not surprised? But then she notices that, and she's like, Ingrid? What's she snaps, that? um, uh, n nothing, um, sorry, I did not mean to listen in. Um, uh, Elodie, she's definitely avoiding the subject. Uh, Elodie, um, I, I had some questions for you. Questions that I cannot hold back. I pray that I have answers for you, Ingrid. She pulls out Aaron's silver sword, grabs it by the blade, and hands it to her. Do you recognize this weapon? At all? Give me a human perception roll. Cersei, you may make this roll as well if you'd like. Yes, please. That explodes. I love oh. knowing that you guys are nosy. <laughs> yeah. Like, you can that see explodes. it behind your eyes, like trying to hold back. I love that. 26. 26. Uh, you said perception? Human, human perception, right? Human perception, please. 26 plus. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. 21. I exploded twice. 35 and 21. <clears throat> you both know before she even speaks. She recognizes that sword. Can you please hold it? She reaches out. And she takes it. Were you there? I know you said you were involved, but were you there? Yes. Ingrid is her, her her whole body shudders. Her she 
sharply inhales through her nose. Elodie sees tears forming, something that's not completely out of question for witchers, but definitely not a common sight. Thank you for your honesty. I am trying here. I really am. What was lost from me that day, I cannot describe, but you may understand. Looking between Elodie and Cersei. What you have is something that I felt before, and that day took it away from me. I want you to know why I cannot stop fighting Renwick, why I cannot let this go. Would you let this go if Renwick killed Cersei in front of you? Would you do that? There's an immediate glance at Cersei, as if the very words that you speak could take her away from Elodie. With a swiftness beyond human compare, beyond Witcher compare, she twists the sword so it is facing upwards behind her, behind her arm. And she is gripping you, Ingrid. She has pulled you in and is holding you close. <laughs> Tears start rolling down Ingrid's cheeks. I have to kill him. Even if he cannot stay dead. I have to find a way. I tried so hard to hide this. I tried so hard not to let this show. And I have failed at every instance. I see what you have with Cersei and I cannot help but see what could have been. What I have lost, I am less a witcher in this moment. I am weak. What you all took away from me was not only that, but also the only chance I had to learn what it meant to be a proper witcher. You took everything from me that day. And I am only forgiving you in this moment because of Cersei. Because I see what you have, and I cannot bear to take that away from somebody else that I love. And she's going to fall quiet. She's not moving away she from never Elodie. Lets you go. So I say, well, uh, Tim, like, gently, a kind of approach. And she'll just take Ingrid's hand and squeeze it and hold it and look to Elodie. Ingrid will accept it. Uh, she will, because she's so focused in the moment, she doesn't realize that uh, her witcher senses fail her, so to speak. She does not realize the motion until it happens. So she does kind of jolt a little, but she relaxes in an instant. Can I come down? <laughs> oh, oh, sure. Uh... What the fuck is this? <laughs> Cersei will will, um, shoot Nyoko look like this is some serious shit, man. Have some tact. <laughs> Uh, he drinks the swallow potion. As as she hears Nyoka speak, she stiffens, 
Um, and she will reach up a hand and wipe away the tears, almost like she doesn't want him to see that she's been crying, even you can though feel Elodie a bit sternly, almost. Uh, reach her hand up to the back of your head and hide your face. Your hair is now falling a bit past your eyes. You are oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> safe. To feel. There's so much conflicted emotion going through her right now. She, um, yeah, go on. She speaks in this moment, a whisper in your ear. I cannot do this alone with you. So. Monster Slayer, Hunter, Witcher of the School of the Bear. Will you accept my contract? Will you kill Renwick for me? With all my being, with all my heart, and with what of my soul remains, you will have his head, and so will I. And that is where we'll end tonight's session of The Ways of Old. Well done, everyone. Almost got me, Ingrid. <laughs> got me, I'm fucking crying. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Um, we'll discuss XP off stream. Uh, thank you all for joining us and for watching. Um, uh, as I was, I'm so sorry you had to hear my, my, my French accent. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's fantastic. Those, you stop oh, that. For those of you guys who don't know, uh, as in the chat, uh, displayed the, the full on like changeling abilities, uh, that, that, that I, that I am not privy to. Um, but well done everyone. Wild. Absolutely wild. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Um, All right. I'm not going to ramble here. Uh, I usually have to cut this part out of the fucking VOD. Um, so let's have some uh, some promo stuff. Cersei, if you'd kindly. Who are you? Where can uh, I find you? Uh, Druid by Night is my streaming Twitch thing. And also my Twitter and my TikTok thing. Um, be, you should totally watch Are We Dead Yet on YouTube. That, which, as I was, is also in alongside me and Ramos. And some other amazing, incredible, beautiful, lovely, wonderful people. Um, that's on YouTube. All you gotta do is search Are We Dead Yet? Vampire the Masquerade and you'll find it. And that is all. Oh, I'm streaming on Gehenna Gaming tomorrow. You should watch that too. That's me. What you got for me, Azure? I am uh, Rachel, once more. Once more, uh, The Azure Butterfly on Twitch.tv. Or you can just call me Azure. Uh... At the Azure Butter One or Azure Butter One uh, on all the social medias. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, more than likely playing um, more Red Dead Redemption. Uh, that's been my thing <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, uh, other than that, uh, I forgot to put out my schedule, so I need to do that. Thank you, Edge, for the all the help with the, the shoutouts and all this good stuff. What have you got for us? Uh, nothing. My name's Edge. Uh, yeah, I play here, you know, doing stuff. And Friday, maybe hunt some vampires, maybe. Um, yeah, that's about it. Absolutely. Um, thank you guys all for being here, for playing. This is, uh, I, I keep keep saying it this is uh lovely and you guys are amazing i appreciate you guys uh and for the viewers i'm gonna sneeze oh god i'm okay it's fine i believe um, in you i appreciate the viewers as well you guys are wonderful thank you i i see your chats i see the sound alerts thank you sap for the subscription i can't reply during game because i'm focused and i'm trying not to like i'm trying to juggle and i'm so sorry um but i do see it and i do appreciate it thank you so much um yeah, uh, uh, for, we're, fuck, shit, I, I always do this, um, 
We're the Rolling Nomads. Um, I'm going to write something out one day. We're the Rolling Nomads. Um, of course, you can find us right here on twitch.tv slash Rolling Nomads. And uh, rather than spew out our schedule at you, which is relatively up to date, we're probably going to have to tweak the uh, the ways of old time slot, figure out what day works best, what time works best for everybody, since uh, my schedule is, is, is ass, if I'm being honest. Um, and uh, yeah, we're working on it. We're figuring it out. Uh, but yeah, I shot you a, t a DM really quick Sweet. about something. Um, I will check that, um, as well. Uh, our schedule f again, for the most part should be up to date. So you can check it out here on twitch.tv slash rolling nomads. Best way to keep up to date with us is over on our Twitter, uh, at underscore rolling nomads, uh, to keep up with our, our, uh, our scheduling changes, cancellations, any new programming, things like that. Um, uh, you can follow the same thing for Hive Social at Rolling Nomads because we claimed the uh, the name because before the fucking van lifers got to it. Um, love them to death. They haven't posted in years. Gonna fight them. Um, not really. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, these YouTube these uh, vods will go up um, every Monday. Um, one is the last previous episode is currently being uploaded as we speak. I don't know what's going on with that and why it's taking so long lately but i'm gonna lose my goddamn mind but it will be up today i promise um that's us in a handbasket as i said as uh as uh, uh as luna said are we dead yet is dropping at season two very soon very excited for that um thank you guys again very much in the chat um i'm gonna leave this final announcement to azure this is your baby and you've 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 created it and and really just kind of blown me out of the fucking Water, this is more... <laughs> do the thing. Are you interested in Ways of Old? Do you like The Witcher TTRPG? Well, soon, coming to a website near you, you're going to have access to all the information, the lore, the characters, the cast, uh, and even the episodes on one website, Witcher Ways of Old. Uh, we're currently creating that and working on it as bestly, be bestly and swiftly as we can. Uh, but that is coming, and look forward to more information soon. Absolutely. Uh, it, there's there's stuff that's already been done. Uh, Azure kind of surprised us all, and uh, she started making this, and it's it's again, it's, it's really it's really amazing, and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. There's not a whole lot more I can say uh, than than thank you. Um, I love this group. I love this game. I love the series that we are creating here, and I want to help it flourish as the best as I can. Absolutely. Um, but we're going to get out of your guys' hair. We'll be back um, next week. I usually say a spiel here, but I can't really because we're trying to figure out a schedule, so we'll be back same time, possibly different place, but still the same heroes. We'll see you then.